Hello everybody, welcome back. This is a brand new movie review. This one is for Madame Web. Now I want to start off this way. I'm a massive Spider-Man fan, as you can see here. Uh, this one is from the Amazing Spider-Man. And I wish we have gotten that third movie with Andrew Garfield to complete his strategy. But now, getting into this review. Spider-Man fans, we are here once again. Now, in, uh, Madame Web is now playing in theaters. Uh, another sp Spider-Man spin-off movie. This time, following the character of Cassandra Webb played by Dakota Johnson, also known as Madam Webb. She's a paramedic in New York City in the early 2000s and begins to have visions of the future. Now these visions will eventually lead her into a trio of girls who will one day become spider people. Unfortunately, the they will also become enemies with a man known as Ezekiel, who is also having visions of the future, and he's ultimately to, uh, to demise to those girls and putting him on a path to try and stop them from ever getting their powers. Now, I gotta say, I have never seen a movie this bad. And I mean, this is shocking because we all seen some pretty bad movies, but this one, I think that most people will agree that this film, Madame Web, is not releasable. I, I didn't think a movie could be this bad. And I'm surprised that, like, nobody at Sony maybe uh, say, like, maybe we should not release this. And this movie is really bad for the industry. It's bad for the comic book genre. Uh, it's bad for women in superhero films, especially as Lee's characters. I mean, this is a problem. But the movie is so bad that I find it just so frustrating and unexpected that this movie is even insisted and all right so Madame Webb is an origin story of Cassandra Webb and a pre-origin story for the three spider women or three of them whose super sharp superhero scenes you pretty much uh, already seen in the trailer which is incredible to me you don't tell an origin story unless the character puts on the castle like at least by halfway to the movie usually at the end of the first act right or some kind of a version of their costume of what it's going to be but i mean the reason they haven't used any of the uh, costumes to advertise the movie is because nobody really gets into costume. What? Yeah, I know. There's you get a scene within like three or four minutes with the costumes. Now, there's no end credit scene, post credit scene here, and the Easter eggs are so far in between. And when they do show up, they are tiny and un consequential mother web is the least connected to the source material forget the other spider-man uh, verse movies and is the least connected to the source material of any comic book property today any place like nobody associated with this film bothered to read any single comic book all the way to much less study the, the stories and those characters and Cassandra Webb uh, does have the most complete storyline here and she does by the end of the movie somewhat reflects the character from the comics and you're like oh yeah I can see it but here it comes across as ridiculous you're like that didn't work at all also this movie has uh, it gave me strong burst of prey vibe but here is more like like the the show uh, the cw burst of prey and then you have all an all-female team and a leader who eventually as you can see from the comments is paralyzed but in the comments is such a 
uh, more uh, important to the story and well done commentary on superheroes but here it was just for show the movie feels like a bad cw show now this is the first feature of director uh, uh, cj a uh, clarkson who comes from a background uh, her background in television shows she has been involved with some of the netflix marvel shows and some other streaming shows and she has directed a couple of episodes which is clearly why she got this gig and madam web plays more like an episode of a tv show but i really bad one you know i think that venom the first one might have been one of the uh, worst things that ever happens to sony because it was just so successful and i really enjoyed the movie i like that but it gave sony like the idea they could make a bunch of spider-man s movies with his supporting cast and you just can't do that most of these characters were never meant to be leads they were designed to play off of spider-man and to expand his world so to see them on their own feels empty and pointless and i'm not saying it can be done i've seen comic books in the past take a supporting character a villain and send them on their own journey and it's amazing it's fascinating and there has been a success of that before in some films but this one unfortunately is not the case i mean you have to have people who respect the material and we really have something creative to and interesting to say with the story of that particular character and i feel enough that he's present in this movie now there there's a for a villain here uh, spider-man <laughs> villain as you may see an evil one <laughs> but the movie never bothered to explain why he feels the need to put on a like a knockoff spider-man suit the character that he's supposed to be playing really in name only in the comments did not wear a spider-man suit and a lot of this stuff is just in name only we'll talk about the the spider-man law with no spoilers in just a moment why is also nobody who can seem to see him when he puts on the suit except like the four female leads that, that was like very inconvenient during the movie for our main characters but also why was that the case and then for some reason ben parker could see the guy in the suit why could he see him if no other civilians came that's why john john uncle ben is in this movie and so is mary parker uh, peter parker's uh, mother and at one point there was a rumor going around there you might have heard that they will be central to the storyline of this film and maybe at one point they were but with this final release in theaters is not and I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this movie is playing in theaters. I mean, you've seen the past so many movies get sh sh shoved and never get released, and somehow this one did. Now it's weird to see name actors like Adam Scar. I'm a big Adam Scar fan. I love Emma Roberts, and they're just like in the background in this movie with nothing to do, playing very important characters. In fact, the script does so little within that you will have to really know your spider-man law to even notice and understand who they're truly playing i mean they never uh, they just like ah oh, look who it is they never do that in this movie they're just like oh hey bam and you're supposed to be like bam parker uh, uh, 
ridiculous. And speaking of Spider-Man law, uh, they make some changes here. They are shocking and how unnecessary they are and how ridiculous they are and how poorly executed they are. And it's just, it, it baffles me. Now, as for the acting, Dakota Johnson and, and Sidney Sweeney, in my opinion, both have a certain qu qualities and charisma to make them stand out and they have very unique line readings for instance johnson here she could be quite funny sometimes intentionally sometimes not intentionally but she gets the last as for again sometimes it was intentionally to her credit and she could do a good comedy line really on occasion more than an occasion i'll say they more than 50 percent of the time it was intentional as for sydney sweeney her role here is pretty muted but you know for instance i recently saw anyone but you and i thought she did a great job there and it's weird by the way how she and johnson are both so stilty physically and hurting in their line delivery like they have a very similar vibe also to emma Roberts, who is also in this movie and it's just a uh, I think they, they were like the fine part, maybe the best part of the movie. <laughs> it's not really good. Now, as for Celeste O'Connor and uh, Isabella Messi, uh, they were uh, much more natural and O'Connor managed to stand out as her character is a rule breaker. But Mercedes' role is just so muted as Sweeney, and they can never uh, stand there, like in the background. As for fan favorite Spider Woman that they are playing, like these are major characters in the comics who they have their lines and their own titles, but here not one of them is more than 10% comics accurate and they seem nothing like their respective character they're really just there in name only same for Taha uh, Rahim as Ezekiel he's just so <laughs> he's so awful you will never guess like he's I'm really surprised because I, I seen uh, Rahim uh, the last time in Napoleon and I think he, he was pretty good in that movie and so it, it, it really surprised me how, how bad this was uh, I mean he didn't blow me away in Napoleon but he, he was good now uh, other cast members here are Mike Epps and, and Soya Warren and are all, they are all fine but what the hell are they all in uh, being in this movie how they got up into this movie really just when you think the spider-verse couldn't sink any lower here comes modern web and i tried you know i thought that the first venom i uh, i enjoy it and it was just so crazy and campy the second venom i thought it was not good and movies i can kind of uh, understand what they were trying to do with that movie and i enjoy it for what it was like with this movie sometimes if you are a comic book fan like myself and you read the comments and you kind of uh, understand what they were trying to do and your brain just to it like uh, something that uh, another elsewhere story and you sometimes you can kind of uh, go a long way but you can not even do that here with this movie there's just nothing for anyone to latch on to and i'm baffled that it got to all those stage of the casting director and, and, and the budget the production and starting filming and post-production and all the stages that you need and scouting locations to make a movie there are so many stages and so many levels and and it, it, this one did and no one said like 
this is bad and we sh we should not do this and we should not release it in theater we should not release it at all and you know let's stick it in, in theaters that's what someone said and th that's what they did with this movie now and i know i respect the uh really hard working people uh working on this movie this project but uh, i think that sometimes the this could hurt uh, uh, people's uh, career especially I, I, honestly i think it, it, it's going to be a a bit disappointing for most people and i can, cannot recommend this movie i only say if watch it uh, maybe at some point because of the means that this movie will generate but it's just it's really bad really really bad so um, i'm curious to see how it does at the bus office and going uh, maybe even lower than what mobius did in opening weekend and we'll see but that's my review for Madam Web. Enjoy if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, consider subscribe to your channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.